pieces. All right. Auto laces. All right. <laughs> okay, so guys, that was uh, 1989. Back to the Future 2 comes out. And uh, Marty McFly gets the Air Mags. And every kid who watched that show, including myself, wanted a pair of shoes that could tie themselves. They wanted the Air Mag. They wanted a hoverboard. I guess we got part of that coming out tomorrow. Well, maybe. Let's talk about that. So that was, like I said, 89. Let's give a little bit of a history. In 2008, Nike puts out the first... Um, what was it? It was a Hyper Dunk. It was a 2008 Hyper Dunk, and they put it out in a uh, Back to the Future colorway. It was kind of cool, but no. Mm -mm. It wasn't a mag. Cool shoe, not a mag. 2011, and we get an Air Mag. Or not an Air... Guys, don't call it an Air Mag. I made a mistake. It's a Nike Mag. No That's Air. It. Um, but we get it. We get the Nike Mag, right? 20... Kind of. Now... Don't get me wrong, I would love one of those uh, pairs in my set, um, in my collection. I don't have one, but they didn't sell flace. So that was the only down thing. They had the lights, everything was cool, you know, but they didn't sell flace. Those came out as an eBay auction. Um, I think the cheapest pair sold for $2,500. The most expensive pair was somewhere around mm, ten to $12,000. Um, so it all went to charity. It was for a great cause, Michael J. Fox, uh, Parkinson's charity. So... I couldn't be mad you know Nike did a good thing they they raised five million dollars for a charity so so good on them um, and then today Nike sends a tweet a tweet a Twitter they tweeted they did a twit they tweeted they twittered Michael J Fox and um, they asked him if he's happy if he's excited for tomorrow right what does that mean so Sorry, guys, man. I need to get a selfie stick. My arm, I don't get any exercise. The most exercise I get with my arms is lifting the shoe boxes that I buy. Okay? When I buy a pair of shoes, that's my workout. But anyway, um, so let's keep talking about that. Yeah, so they sent out that tweet today. Uh, they put up a video. As I'm talking, I'm hoping you're seeing some images across the screen. I'm figuring this editing thing out, so I think I'm getting better at it. But, uh, yeah, so tomorrow... What's going to happen? We don't know. We don't know. Nike didn't confirm if they're going to release tomorrow, if they're going to auction tomorrow, or if um, they're just going to give us more info tomorrow. So chances are 99% sure that this is going to be an auction, okay? Um, in the press release last year when Tinker unveiled this shoe, uh, Nike did say it was going to be an auction and that the money was going to go to charity again. So um, it's, it's all for Michael J. Fox. Guys, I... You know, part of me wants to be mad that I'm probably not going to get a pair uh, because it's, it is it is a limited run and it is charity. But the other part of me says, hey, Nike's doing a good thing. It, it, you know, um, if the last one raised $5 million, hopefully this one can raise 10 So um, good on Nike. Stay tuned till tomorrow. We'll find out then. I mean, lock it down to Nike's Twitter. Make sure you keep your eye on sneakers to see what's happening. And of course, of course, follow me on Instagram, Pino E77. I'll have the info as it comes out. Um, but yeah, that's about it for, for the, the Nike mag, guys. Uh, we'll, we'll have to wait to All right, hear more so guys, tomorrow. As I'm recording this, shit's going down. No, I wanted to share another update about the mags. Take a look at this tweet that Nike just sent somebody. Get the sneakers app, get it ready, pay attention tomorrow. I have no idea what they have planned. But so, you see the next tweet. up, and I'm sorry, I'm taking a hit. I'm a vapor. This is slushy. It is a watermelon strawberry mix, and it's so delicious. Bad habit, guys. Don't don't start it. But if you're smoking, get on this. Um, anyway, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Next up, we've got the, um, the Adidas Ultra Boost Reflective Pack. Now, these are pretty cool. Um, take a look at this black pair. I'll throw it up on the screen here. It's very, very similar to what um, Adidas put out for the Olympic Pack. Um, it's got that same reflective. Um, it's got that same reflective uh, prime knit, and uh, I guess the only thing missing from that is that silver heel counter. So that's that's a miss. But if you missed out on on the silver pair for the Olympics, get these. It's dope. Um, I know I shit on Adidas a lot, guys, and and mostly I think they deserve it. But um, the Ultra Boost is, is there's no shoe that beats it in comfort, I, and that's I'm a Nike guy, um, but comfort wise. 
Nike needs to step it up. They don't have anything like that. Here's the white pair. Now, these two are dope. I'll be definitely going for these. I don't know if I'll get the black because I already have the silver. I don't know. That's a game time decision. But here's a look at the white pair. There's no date yet. I'll have it soon. The price, probably standard Ultra Bruce pricing. Um, but stay tuned for more info. So overall, it was a pretty slow news day. Aside from that big uh, Nike mag news that broke today. We also got an official look at the Eris ones, the, the velvet pair. So here they are up on the screen for you. Um, unfortunately, there still is no release date or confirmed price. Some people are saying uh, December 15th. I haven't confirmed it. If you want to mark that down as a rumor, then go ahead. Um, but I, I'm not able to, to confirm that yet. So stay tuned. Um, alongside with those, of course, there will be the 11s, which I think are dope. Uh, the ladies got it good with this one. So anyway, stay tuned for more info on those. Right. And there's one more thing I want to talk about, and that's the uh, Soulfly Air Jordan 23 Marlins. So they come in a marlin teal blue colorway there's no price confirmed on those here's a look at the shoes i think they're dope i think they did a really good job and like all soulfly collaborations i imagine that they're not going to be sitting around so um find your plug the release date is october 22nd now that's in store release date that's the date you can get them at soulfly out of miami uh but there also is an october 24th online release date scheduled um, as soon as I get more info on, I guess, how that process will work, I'll let you all know. When I get the price, I'll let you all know. Hope you enjoyed these pictures. I think they're dope. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Actually, and another thing, guys. I want to know one other thing from you. This is a new format for me, um, I guess, being in front of the camera, telling you guys the news. Do you prefer this or do you prefer the way I used to do it? with, uh, I guess, just the pictures rolling in my voiceover. I really want to hear you guys' opinion. It matters to me what you guys want to see, what you like better than the other. Um, so I'll adapt to whatever that is. Let me know in the comments, please. Thank you. Let's continue. All right, everyone. Well, like I said, it was a slow news day, but that brings us to the end of today's video. If you enjoyed it, and I hope you did, smash that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe, join the squad. If you have something to say, leave it in the comments below, and I'm out.